Good morning to our Sunday morning worship service. We'd like to welcome each one of you that's tuning in via live streaming. We trust that our time together will be a time of honoring the Lord. We have gone through some very unusual and strange days, and yet the Lord is, is faithful. And I think we'll We've heard that over and over again, especially in these days. This morning as we begin our service, we'd like to have everyone join in singing. We have uh, the Gettys, of course not in person with us, but they will be leading us in He Will Hold Me Fast. And I would encourage each one of you to join in in your homes, wherever you are. And uh, honor the Lord through the singing of this hymn, He Will Hold Me Fast.
For our scripture reading this morning, it's found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, and I'll be reading from verse 1 through verse 16. Again, that's Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 1 through verse 16. God's word says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the master of them all. A prudent man sees danger and takes refuge, but the simple keep going and suffer for it. Humility and the fear of the Lord bring wealth and honor and life. In the path of the wicked lie thorns and snares, but he who guards his soul stays far from them. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. A generous man will himself be blessed, for he shares his food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and not go strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. He who loves a pure heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king for his friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, there is a lion outside, or I will be murdered in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is under the Lord's wrath will fall into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. He who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth, and he who gives gifts to the rich, both will come to poverty. May God bless the reading of his word. Let's bow together in prayer. Father in heaven, how grateful we are for your faithfulness to us. Lord, we thank you for your mercies that are new to us every day. We pray and ask, Lord, that you would bless your word to our hearts, that you would bless this service, be with our pastors and ministers, your word to our hearts. I pray, Father, that you would use him, use your word. May your Holy Spirit just apply it as as we each have different needs, apply it to those needs. Thank you, Lord, for the way that you continue to provide for us, protect us. We do pray for your protection over each and every one of our, of our VCC family members. We pray and ask, Father, that you would continue to meet the needs that each one has. And help us, Lord, to know how we can reach out and help each other and be there to, to support and encourage each other. And now we just commit this time to you. We pray and ask that you would be honored through it. The things that we learned here today, help us, Lord, to apply them to our hearts and lives and to be able to reach out and encourage others as well. We ask these things in the name of Christ. Amen. This morning for our announcements, uh, again, we have no uh, services here at the church uh, this week at all. Uh, we, we ask that uh, you be in prayer uh, for each other. Also, as I mentioned last week, we do have the Easter daily breads that are available. If any of you would like one of those, uh, just check with Steve or Pastor Darrell, or with me, and we will make sure that we get, we'll get those to you. It's a great devotional booklet, and I think that it will be an encouragement to, to each and every one of you. Also, some have asked about how do I get my offering to, to the church, and we would encourage you if, uh, if you can send it in by mail, the address is 
Valley Community Church at 3801 North Colonel Road, McAllen, Texas, and the zip is 78501. And I believe the address is also found in your church directory. We'd also like to remind you that we have uh, we have those that have needs and those that would like to fill a need to help each other out here in our church family. Everett had sent out an email before, and in that was a was a link for uh, needs. If you have a need and you would like to share it with the church family, perhaps you need your yard mowed, you need someone to pick up groceries for you, you uh, just have something that that you can't do and, and you'd like help with, uh, be sure and go into that link. And and when you when you share that, when it's you put reply, make sure that you push reply all. If you push reply, it will just go to Everett. If you re press re uh, reply all, then it goes to all of us, and all of us are aware of that. The same goes for those of you that would be able to fill a, fill a need, and you're willing to help out uh, uh, whatever the situation may be. Uh, I'm available for this. I'm available for that. Go ahead and go into that site that Errol sent to all of us on that link. Uh, on needs and uh, just put there, uh, I can fill this need, I'm available to help out anybody out with this or that and send it once again to reply all and it will go out. Once again, uh, I would like to encourage you just to be in prayer uh, for each other. Another announcement is that uh, Keith Anderson is hosting a time of prayer and our first one was uh, Saturday uh, morning, and we will have others throughout the week. Keith will send out a link to us, and he will let us know the times so that all of us can tune in, whether by cell phone or on our, uh, our computers. We'll tune in. We might be able to see each other, and if not, just hear each other, but we'll be able to pray together and share our needs during that time. So uh, if you have any questions about that, be sure to call Keith Anderson. Uh, he's hosting it and he will answer your questions. Once again, if you have other announcements or things that you'd like for us to share, please uh, let that be known to, to our pastor, to uh, Steve, or myself, or any of the any of the deacons, um, Bob, or Eric, or, or Keith, and uh, we we continue to pray for each other and ask that God will uh, help us through these days. Uh, we we are thankful for this means of communication, and please uh, keep in touch. Thank you.